This strategy brought me $2,387 in just one weekend. Sounds unreal, right? Well, I'm super excited to share with you exactly how I did this and as a newer YouTuber who's 37 years old. So if I can do this, so can you. Now, everything I'm about to share with you is exactly what I used to sell $2,387 worth of digital products in one weekend. But whether you're wanting to sell digital products or something else, these steps are still going to apply. So, all right, with that, let's really dive in. Okay, if you're wanting to make a bunch of money in one weekend, the first thing you gotta do is set a clear goal, my friend. So what I did was I decided to set a goal of $2,000 in one weekend, but you should choose whatever works for you and look at how much the thing costs that you're selling and then look at your goal and divide that by the cost of the product or thing that you're selling. And then that will tell you how many of that item you're actually going to need to sell to hit that goal. And I know setting a goal sounds really simple, but please do not skip this step because it can be really easy to lose sight of what you want if you don't set a clear goal. Something could come along and try to distract you or plans could come up that weekend that you want to make those sales or maybe doubt or fear-based mindset sets in. But if you have that goal as your North Star, that's going to really help you to actually make this happen. So go ahead right now and set your goal that you want to make in one weekend. Okay, the next thing that I did and what I would recommend for you to do too is to utilize YouTube to attract ideal clients. It's no secret that if you want to make a bunch of money in one weekend, you're going to need people to sell to. Now, I've been on a lot of different platforms, but I will tell you that although it might seem easier to post an Instagram reel, I find it a lot easier to grow on YouTube. I might post 50 Instagram reels to just get the results of like half of one YouTube video. Like the results on YouTube are just so much greater. So although it's more work up front, you're able to have way better results. And not to mention on top of selling your own products, you can also make money from things like AdSense and brand deals. So I just really cannot recommend utilizing YouTube to attract your ideal clients enough. Now, you might be wondering how to grow on YouTube, and I have lots of other videos like that on my channel, and I have an entire membership dedicated to growing on YouTube. It's called Freedom Creator Club. If you want to check that out, you can get my free training in the description below this video that will give you lots of free cool tips, and it'll also give you information on Freedom Creator Club. But here is what YouTube comes down to. YouTube comes down to sharing free, genuinely helpful content consistently on YouTube, and then they might seek out to get more help from you, which really ties into my next tip here. Okay, the next thing I did to generate a lot of money in one weekend, and what I would recommend for you as well, is to build an email list. Build an email list, build an email list, build an email list. So you can go ahead and Google this. Email marketing is 40, four zero times more effective at making sales than social media alone. Like, Email marketing is, quite frankly, the number one metric of my business. It is the backbone of my business. It is the most important part of my business. It brings us the most sales. It allows us to contact all of our customers, all of our followers. Whereas on YouTube, if I post a video, it's maybe only reaching a fraction of my subscribers. Or if I do a community post or a social media post on another platform, it's only going to reach a fraction of those people. I really cannot stress enough how important email marketing is. So listen up. What you want to do is grow your YouTube channel and your email list at the same time. So if you've already started on YouTube and you haven't started an email list, then hop to it. And if you haven't started either, then today is the day. Go ahead and just pick up your cell phone, record a video, and just post it. And please, please, please remember progress over perfection. You can go back to my oldest YouTube videos and you will see that I did not start out with YouTube videos with this quality of camera and audio and scripting and all that stuff. It was literally just me with a crappy old webcam with a sweatshirt on just talking about stuff. And I'm pretty sure that video even has over like a thousand or two thousand views now, which is crazy. But I'm telling you, you will never regret starting your YouTube channel. There is just so many opportunities that are going to come from it. Not to mention being able to make a lot of sales in one weekend whenever you want to. Okay, so how do you actually grow your email list from your YouTube? So what you do is you start growing your YouTube and then you create freebies to grow your email list. Now, I've already talked about and mentioned a couple freebies, but if you want to check them out, I have links to them in the description below. 
Essentially, what I do is I offer like here's a free template or a free script or a free training. And in order to get that delivered to your inbox, you're going to put in your name and your email. And then at the same time, you're getting on my email list. So this is how you move your followers to email subscribers. And like I said, this is the best way to stay in touch. And now I use automated email sequences, which is a series of automated emails to then further nurture and educate my followers. And at the same time, invite them to purchase my digital products if they're wanting even further help. Now, next up, we're going to talk about actually creating your digital product and then how to launch it. But I just want to say that even just putting the effort into what I just discussed with the YouTube and the email list, making over $2,000 in a weekend then becomes as easy as just sending out a single email to your following. I'm telling you, really, the keys lie within growing your own following. Do not be fooled by people telling you to sell on other platforms like Etsy or Amazon. They own you. Those platforms you do not own. They can kick you off at any time. They can raise their fees at any time. Not to mention, they're going to charge you fees. They also make the majority of their money off of paid advertising. So they are purposely going to make it hard for you to get sales and traction organically because they want you to pay for ads. I'm telling you, making money with a business is hard no matter which route you go. It's going to be hard, so choose your hard. And I am here to tell you that YouTube hard is the best. Like I said, not only does it make it easier to sell, you have your own following, you have your own platform, you're going to have your own email list. You no longer have to pay listing fees. You don't have to run paid ads. You don't have to do any of that. But also when you grow on YouTube, now you're opened up to more opportunities like brand deals and AdSense. I could truly go on about this forever. Like YouTube has been a game changing piece for my business. OK, so some of you listening might already have a product to sell, but if you don't, the next thing I want to talk about is how to create a product that is actually going to sell. The key here is if you want to sell digital products, your first step should not be creating the digital product. Your first step should be growing your following and your email list. And here's why. The best way to come up with which digital product to create is to figure out which problem your audience has. And then you're going to want to solve that problem with a digital product. But how are you going to know what problem to solve or what problem your audience has if you don't have an audience? <laughs> That is exactly why you need to start your YouTube and your email list first. Then once you get to about 100 to 200 email subscribers or more, you're going to want to send them out a survey using a Google form to try and figure out what is it that they're struggling with? What is their number one problem within your wheelhouse, within your niche that you can solve for them? This is the digital product that you're going to make. And then you're going to think to yourself, OK, now that I know the digital product I want to create, which type of digital product is going to be the best vehicle for that information? Is it going to be an ebook? Is it going to be a course? Is it going to be an ongoing membership? Is it going to be a workshop? It doesn't matter because the type of digital product is not what makes sales. You solving someone's problem is what makes sales. That's how people sell any type of product. Every single thing that has ever been invented to sell is to solve a problem and your digital product is no different. Now, if you want to learn my entire process for growing your YouTube, growing your email list, even the survey with the exact questions, all of my sales scripts, templates, everything, I have a totally free training. It's the first link in the description below this video, and it's going to share with you a bunch of tips on how to get started with this. And also, it's going to give you information on my very affordable membership, Freedom Creator Club. So go check that out in the first link in the description below this video. OK, the next thing we're going to talk about is launching and then automating your sales. Now, again, I sell digital products, so this is what I do. But you could really apply this to anything. Even when I was a professional photographer for 16 years, my main way to get customers was moving social media followers to an email list. It is key. OK, so let's say your goal is to make like two thousand dollars in a weekend and you want to launch whatever it is you're selling or a digital product or something like that. Honestly, 
once you have your YouTube that you've moved to email subscribers, it's going to be as easy as sending a grouping of email promos. So what I do and what I recommend for my students to launch is not to do some big fancy live webinars or a live challenge. I feel like that's really overwhelming for a beginner. All you need to do is pick a two day window. So again, this could be like a weekend. This could be like a Saturday and a Sunday. And then you're going to want to write two emails on day one and three emails on day two. So the first email can simply be like, I have this new cool thing for sale. Link here really short, really mysterious, really vague to try to get people to go to the checkout page so that they can check it out. That I, I'm telling you, that's going to help you get more sales than giving them tons of information in a sales page. Then the second email can highlight a bonus. Now, I do this with almost all my launches where I'll say, hey, if you buy this thing before midnight, you're also going to get this bonus. So it just mostly talks about the bonus and then again, links to the sales page. Now we're on to day two. Now, the first email you want to do on day two is one that's going to highlight a testimonial. Now, I know a lot of you are probably thinking, this is my launch. I haven't made sales yet, so I don't have testimonials. You are your testimonial. So if you don't have student testimonials yet, then go ahead and highlight your story in this email. Talk about how you solved this problem for you or for someone else. Really dive into the story. This can be kind of a longer email. And then, of course, say, and if you want results similar to this and you want access to the tools, templates, whatever that helped me get these results or so and so get these results, go to this checkout page. OK, that's going to be the first email. And now the second email, again, is going to highlight some kind of bonus. So it's just going to say, hey, if you buy this thing before midnight, you're going to get this bonus. All right, that's it. Quick, easy, right? The third email is going to say, this is it. Cart's closing. This is your last time to get it at this price. Or this is your last time to get this ever. Or this is your last time to get this with the bonuses. Whatever it is, make it real. But you need to have urgency and scarcity to actually make sales. This is absolutely crucial. I see people fall short time and time again, reach out to me saying, why is this not selling? And to be honest, most times it comes down to that their scarcity and urgency either isn't there at all, like they don't have a timer at the top of their page or something like that. So there you have it. That is my strategy of how I made over $2,000 in one weekend. So grow on YouTube, grow your email list, and then you can just send a couple emails and make that money in the weekend. The key is to put that time and effort into growing your own following on your own platform. Make it your own business, build your own foundation, and don't rely on other people's platforms. Now that you know exactly how to do this and hit your goal of making X amount of sales in one weekend, this is it. Now it's time for you to take action, okay? You can do this. Now, the first piece of action I want you to take is to leave a comment below and let me know what was your number one takeaway from this video. And I will personally respond to every single comment. And now that you know my strategy for making over $2,387 in one weekend, you might be wanting to learn exactly how to create your very own ebook in 24 hours or less. But how do you do that? Well, it all starts with watching this video next here, because when you pair what you just learned with what's in this video, it's going to be way more powerful. See you in the next video.